Hi, I'm Jim from Sailboats to Go, and I'm going to show you about the new um, Sea Eagle Razor Light tandem inflatable kayak with the Sailboats to Go sail kit. The neat thing about the Razor Light is it's entirely made from drop stitch air chambers. Drop stitch means inside there's a million connecting threads that allows the air chambers to be rectangular in cross section instead of the usual tubular. Gives you thin sides for paddling, makes the boat all around sleeker. And it allows it all to be inflated to a higher pressure, like 10 pounds, which is high for an inflatable boat, which makes it more rigid and stiff, which is good for streamlining. So let's put the sail kit on. Over here, we've got the sailboats to go sail kit laid out as it would come out of the bag. Everything folds, comes apart, so that there's nothing longer than four feet when it's in its folded state. Makes it very portable, very easy to store. You can even take it on the airplane and check baggage. So let's start with the front assembly. The sail kit has a front assembly that goes on the bow and a rear assembly that goes on the stern. We call this part the bow sprit call this the main front crossbar. I slip the two together and lay it right on the kayak. Center the bow sprit and tighten down the star knobs on the U-bolts that connect the bow sprit to that crossbar. And we're going to be putting straps through the extra space of the U-bolt back here. So Try to put all the space toward the rear when you make that connection between the crossbar and the bowsprit with those U-bolts. That'll give you more space to slip the straps into. Need to get that centered, tighten it up well. This is the mast step. That's the socket that the mast is going to sit in. One of the really neat things about the sailboats to go sail kit is the mast step is strong enough so that you don't need any guy wires that would get in your way, clutter up your boat, to stabilize the mast. All of the support for the mast comes from this very strong welded piece. Set this about two feet forward of the crossbar. That will give you the proper steering balance. If you set it too far forward, you might get lee helm, which would be a tendency of the boat to turn downwind, and that's not good. You want a moderate tendency for the boat to turn upwind, so two feet or even a little bit less. Okay, let's strap that on. One strap goes through this hole in the front of the valve sprit. and through the bow handle. Not going to tighten that up just yet. Then we take four short straps. And we're going to make a W pattern with these D-rings that are part of the kayak. So here's the verticals of the W. And then here are the diagonals of the W. Slip that through the U-bolt extra space and diagonally down to the D-ring. So the verticals give you a nice tight attachment in the vertical dimension and the diagonals keep your front assembly from slipping to one side or the other. Okay, check that it's all roughly centered. And now, 
tighten up your straps. Now as the last strap to tighten would be the front one. That's going to pull it forward slightly and further snug up all the straps. Good and tight. These are the lee boards. These are what keep you from sliding sideways when the wind blows from the side and enables you to tack up into the wind. They're bolted to lee board mounts and the order of the washers is knob head, metal washer, rubber washer, lee board shaft, and then this nylon washer. And the only purpose of the nylon washer is so that if you were to unscrew your lee boards from the lee board mounts for storage, the bolts would stay in the lee board shaft and you won't lose the bolts. If you got some other plan for keeping track of your bolts, you're welcome to get rid of the nylon washer. If your plan for storage and transporting can accommodate this L-shaped assembly, you're welcome to never unscrew the leeboard bolts and just pop them in and out of the front crossbar using the spring button. Makes it very fast to set up and take down. You don't even have to screw anything. Here it goes. assembly consists of a crossbar with adjustable length ends and you can take these ends right off if you want just keep pulling like that and pushing the button I'm gonna put it in the second hole that's where I like it depending upon your body mechanics you may want it closer in or further out and then this is what we call the right angle piece extension and it snaps right into that piece right there we make it removable so that it fits in a carry bag more easily. You could, of course, remove even the short part of the right angle piece just by loosening up the U-bolt and sliding it off. The U-bolt sits in that groove, though, so you have to loosen it up more than a little bit. So come down here to the stern of the boat, and we set this now T-shaped assembly right over the stern with the right angle piece resting on the splash deck of the stern. Again, we need four short straps and one slightly longer strap, just like we did on the front assembly. And the method is very parallel. We're going to take the four short straps and do a W there, and we're going to take the one longer strap and do it to the stern handle. We'll do it loosely first, and then the last step will be to tighten up this strap, pull things back a little bit, and at the same time be tightening all the connections. Verticals of the W. Again, we're going to use the space in the U-bolt to attach the diagonals, and we want to maximize that space toward the forward side of the U-bolt. And let me give you another important tip. If you think you might at any time be leaning back against this rear crossbar, think about the possibility that you might accidentally, with the pressure of your back, 
release the belt buckle there and to avoid that position the buckle mechanism low to the side out of the way where it won't get accidentally released by you leaning back against it. So I'm going to do this diagonal. with the buckle way down here. See that's nice and out of the way. It's not likely to get released accidentally. No disaster if it does, but if you take that little bit of care, it won't happen.